Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I did have a question recently on how to install custom content and I realized the video I actually have on installing custom content is pretty old. Um, the game does not look the same or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how to install it and all of that fun stuff. Most of us probably, there's a ton of videos everywhere. Um, but just to keep things simple, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it again just in case you don't know. Because again, I did have a question on it, so it never hurts to reiterate and to show different methods to do it. So first off, I'm going to show you the normal OG way to install custom content, which is the way I have always done it. And I still do it, even though we have Curse Forge now and I know it's easier, I still do it the old way. So the original way, you're going to, going to go into options. Um, if you're actually like in a game, it'll be up here in this area of the screen on the upper right. Um, but if you're on the main page, just click on options, game options. You're going to go down to other and your game, oh crap. <laughs> your game will probably have both of these unchecked. You're just going to check it, check both of these and then click apply changes. It'll tell you have to restart. So you're going to exit the game and restart your game. Um, but before you restart it, you're gonna to need to install some mods. So first and foremost, you're obviously going to need to install a mod, ignore all my tabs down here. Um, I've been recording all day. Um, so I'm just gonna go, I, I usually get myself off of The Sims Resource, which you can see plenty of, I'm on the hairstyle section here, you can download from here. Um, but Sonia Sims, I really love their hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one that I've been looking for. Um, so this one is now public, so I'm just gonna click on it we are going to just quickly download it. I'm just going to click on that. So it's going into my downloads folder. Um, my downloads folder is kind of a mess, <laughs> admittedly. It's opening on my other screen, which is fine. Um, we're going to keep that off screen just because it's, you know, private. Um, so from your actual computer. So this is just this PC in your folders. I'm going to click on documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 and mods. Okay. So then we have this little guy. It has to be a package folder. Um, obviously if you're doing script mods, there will be script packages and stuff like that, but usually most of them are going to be packages. Um, I'm just going to plop that there. So it's right here. Even it just being in this folder, in the mods folder in general, it will show up in my game and create a Sim. However, I do have mine organized. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into my cast items. Um, so with the Sims and with the mods, you can go one folder deep. So I have this folder for tattoos. I have this for skins. Um, some of my princess stuff, uh, all of my cast items are in here. You can go one folder deep. So like, say if I went into here and created another folder, that second folder in here would not be read by the game. So you can go one folder deep. That's why I keep mine a little bit more organized. I have most of my actual mods just sitting out aside from MC Command Center because it's such a big mod so I have it in its own little folder. But that's the way that I still install mods. Um, I am going to show you how to use Curse Forge. Uh, I, again, I don't really use it so I just had to learn how to use it. Um, but let's go ahead and look at Curse Forge. So when you load up Curse Forge, it's going to kind of look like this. You're going to click on Get Curse Forge app. I did download standalone. Um, I didn't want the overwolf thing or anything like that. I just did standalone. Um, as far as I'm aware, you can click on the ones here and it'll pop up in your curse forge. As you can see, I already have it open right here. Um, I'm just going to click on this and click on install and see what happens. So I'm going to open curse forge. It's over on my other screen. Here it is. Um, so it's processing the request. Here it is. You, it's just downloading it immediately. So this should already be in my mods folder. It should be good to go. You can also have it sync with all of your mods. Um, mine might take, Oh, it actually did it. Um, I have a lot clearly. Um, so it's showing me what I do have and all that fun stuff. You can click get more mods and a, you can just download to your arts content. It puts it right into the folder for you, I believe. Um, I do kind of want to see where it wound up because I've never used it before. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but it's pretty darn cool. Yep. So it installed it right into the main one. So if you do have yours organized in folders, you're probably just going to want to go through and move it into, you know, your specific folder. So I'm just going to move mine into cast items just to clean it up a little bit because I do like mine being organized. So I know where to find stuff. Um, this is probably gonna take a bit. Okay. So it finally loaded. Um, as you can see, there are some mods here that you can install. There's create a sim things and all of that. You can browse by category. You can get worlds, households, lots, pets, everything. Um, 
which is pretty cool. It's super easy to do it this way. Again, I still do it the old school way <laughs> because it's just what I'm used to from all the Sims games in the past. I just use that. Um, but yeah, that's it's super easy to get mods. If you do have any more questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to help um, as best to, to my ability. I've been playing the Sims for a long time, so I do know how to install stuff and remove mods and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, again, if you do have any more questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I am more than happy to help in any way I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.